Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be making this beautiful girly gingerbread Christmas nail set. So let's get into it. So I am starting off right away. Um, I'm going to go in with this color called Ambrosia from nail reserve la this is one of my be most favorite beautiful off-white like kind of tan nude colors it is not too yellow and it is not too warm so it's a perfect neutral and i knew for sure that i wanted to go in with this color for some reason this color gives me like those type of vibes of like i don't know like girly but it's like a pastel so it looks i don't know how to explain it but when you look up like girly aesthetic on pinterest like you'll see a lot of this color so yeah i really really wanted to use this color so i'm going in with this on the middle finger the reason why i wanted to go in with this color specifically was because i knew i was going to draw a little gingerbread on some one nail at least and i thought it was going to be the middle finger so now i'm going in with this color called scarecrow from madam glam this is the perfect gingerbread cookie color um this is going to be all over the pinky because i'm going to do like a cookie design or like, I don't know if it's a cookie design. I honestly don't know, you guys. This was a freestyle set. So it is all freestyle. I was just thinking about what I was doing as I was going along. Um, now I'm going in with this baby blue. And that is going to be on the pointer finger. I knew for sure I wanted to do pastel vibes all around. Um, I wanted it to be very girly. I honestly was thinking in my head. I was like, how would I want like how do i want the set to look i know for sure i wanted it to be super girly because i was having um like a certain type of uh freestyle on my instagram and someone purchased this one and i did tell her it was gonna be very girly with rhinestones and stuff like that so i really hope she ended up liking it i never heard anything back so i'm honestly not sure but i really hope she did um but now on the middle finger i'm going to be painting this gingerbread so um it is a super easy to do a gingerbread it is so cute um you can draw it however you want longer skinnier chubbier personally i like the chubbier type of gingerbread cookies where they have like stubby little legs um they're so cute so the reason why i got inspiration to create a set like this was because i'm doing gingerbread theme um like all in my house this year and last year is when i bought all my decorations i went to hobby lobby it's like my favorite place to go christmas shopping um for like decorations and i went there and they had so much cute gingerbread stuff like I have so much stuff because I pur purchased like almost everything I saw honestly last year which kind of saved me because this year I didn't have to buy anything at all like I honestly didn't even buy Christmas decorations this year. I know this is kind of random but um yeah that's like the inspiration of where I got to do this because I just love the gingerbread theme. It is so cute like the little baking theme because I love love to bake. That's like one thing I really love to do. So um, yeah, the little gingerbread cookies was just like super cute. And I really wanted to create a nail set for that. Um, so you're just going to create the two arms going either upwards or you can make them going downwards. But I feel like gingerbread cookies always have their arms upwards a little bit. So you could do that. Um, that's what I did. And the brush that I'm using is my Nails by Dev 9mm brush. This is the brush I've been using to hand paint any sets that I have to like hand paint any type of art on. And then for the legs, I tried to make them the same length as the hands and the head it could just be um not so so big to where it covers almost the whole surface nail of the surface area of the nail it can honestly be as big as you want i didn't know what i was going to do like i like i mentioned it was a freestyle so i had a feeling i was going to have to paint some other stuff up here on top of the gingerbread but i wasn't sure what it was going to be yet and i was also trying to do the gingerbread a little bit at an angle i didn't want him to be just like straight on face forward um if that makes sense like I wanted him to be tilted a little bit so um that's what I was kind of trying to do but honestly I don't even know if that really worked out but it's totally fine so this time around this is how I did the gingerbread I did like a little almost like a bubble letter a and then you're just gonna fill the whole thing in so I hope that helps see as you can see here it's like a bubble letter a and then fill it all in and it's gonna give you like the most perfect little gingerbread feet and then you can go ahead and just add the arms super easily um it was super simple to draw this honestly this is totally beginner friendly if you're into like gingerbread for christmas um even if you did just like a little gingerbread a little gingerbread you can you do this on short nails uh short square almond i would totally do this for my nails i want to do christmas nails for myself so bad you guys the time is flying by it's like crazy how fast everything's like happening um but i am just 
really thinking about how like I want to do my nails because I plan to have all my press on nail orders shipped out like this Monday I only have a few left to ship but um other than that I'm gonna be done so literally the holidays are such a crazy time and um yeah so for the top of the gingerbread I wanted to just do these little candies so you're just gonna draw a circle fill it in and then you're gonna do two triangles on either side with the pointed part facing inwards or I guess the top of the triangle facing inwards and you're gonna create these really cute little candies you can paint them any color you want um, I really wanted them to have like a peppermint swirl but it it worked but like it didn't work at the same time you guys will see what I mean um, I felt like I added one light one color light pink with peppermint swirls on it and then you couldn't really tell over the white that it was there. So then I had to go back in with the darker pink. So just make sure that you're using, you know, like really br kind of bright colors. Because either way, when you go back in and matte stuff out, matte always uh, tones down the colors of anything. So for the most part, I think for the most part it does. So yeah. And I'm sorry if I sound weird. It is literally 7 a.m. on the dot. I woke up. I got like my little morning routine started and then... I am now doing this voiceover so that I can go ahead and work on some nails after I'm done with this while my video is uploading. But I really wanted to upload this one for you guys because I got so much love on this one uh, on this set on my Instagram. I honestly didn't think that many people were going to like it because I know it's like really girly. And I feel like a lot of people aren't girly, but I'm so into like the super girly aesthetic, like bows and everything like that. I have always loved that like my entire life. So yeah i really really love this whole aesthetic and something else that inspired this was i just got some uggs like the uggs that have the little bows on the back i got them as a christmas gift so um like my mother-in-law got them for me so i'm like oh that's like so cute too because like the uggs are like a gingerbread color too and then like the bows in the back just kind of inspired me to make some really girly nails too so yeah i really really love um that whole vibe and everything but now for the little candies i noticed that they were really washed out and you couldn't see them well on the back with the, because of the background color so i went ahead with my nine millimeter brush again and a little bit of a dark brown and i'm just lightly outlining the little candies um i'm not trying to make it so so perfect because either way like we're gonna add glitter we're gonna add a bunch of stuff so i was i wasn't sure um but i just had a feeling it was gonna look good in the end anyway and it totally did so yeah i'm just trying to outline it lightly honestly just lightly just so that it actually stands out from the background and then i went ahead and just added some little dots for like little snow around the candies and um this one th doing this didn't really matter i should have done it after i'm put the top coat because either way I want them to be glittery so now I'm doing a matte top coat on the nail and I'm just going ahead and making sure that it's very even and um, I'm also going to be doing the matte on the other nails as well just because I know for sure that I was I wanted to add like the glit the sugar glitter effect and when you matte it it just looks prettier plus it just stands out better so um yeah and also it doesn't stick to the nail so i always try to matte first and the matte that i'm using today i believe is the nails by dev matte top coat um and this is like my favorite matte so you do have to wipe it when it cures so it was all cured and then i wiped it off and it looks so good so yeah this is what that looks like and then now i'm going in with one of my favorite type of designs for like gingerbread theme um i wanted to create like a like a a decorated cookie type of look so i grabbed my madam glam white gel paint it is like a no wipe gel paint so it has no sticky layer and it is amazing for doing any type of art where like you want it to look like it's like kind of 3d and this white looks perfect like icing um it doesn't look like icing but like it does at the same time like i don't know how to explain it but um I went in with my brush and I'm creating this little design. It is just like a little crisscross pattern. I wanted it to look almost like girly, like um, a corset basically, but I wanted it to look like a gingerbread cookie or like a decorated cookie in general, but like corset vibes, like actual corset that you wear. So I was like, um, let me just do these two crosses and then i'm gonna add like some snowflakes in the middle i feel like that's gonna make it look really pretty but the best part about this is because the cookie part or like the brown is matte and then you're i'm adding like the 
white gel paint on top specifically the madame glam one glam one because i know that one's non-wipe um i am just going ahead and doing that and then once you cure it it just stays looking glossy where the rest of the nails matte just like how an iced cookie cookie would look so um yeah now i'm grabbing my dotting tool and i'm going to be creating the little dots because i'm going to make a little snowflake in the center and i'm just making an other little dots for the design just to make it look more detailed and then um yeah i honestly didn't know where I, where i was going with this at first uh this is where i decided that i wanted to do a snowflake instead right here in the center instead of leaving it empty i think i was about to leave it empty so yeah um and i'm just doing one of those really easy little snowflakes that you just do the four lines and then you do the little side cross ones and i'm just adding little lines right here to make it look a little more detailed do you guys something about me is like when i do a freestyle i feel like i go all in like even when i shouldn't be putting that much work honestly into some freestyles i feel like i put so much work into them like i make them worth 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 it like a thousand percent at least if i paid um the price that i was paying because i put them as like a sale price I love getting the freedom to do freestyles, so I do it at a good price so that I can get uh, content for YouTube too. And I just love making these, like, they're amazing. Um, it just, like, something about having all the creative freedom just really makes me feel like I'm not in, like, a rut anymore. Like, it honestly just makes me feel better when I get a chance to, like, do sets that I actually want to do. So, yeah, it's just, like, so, so fun. And right here i added some swirly lines on the sides and then right here i'm adding just these little i don't even know what these are but little lines as well just to make it look more detailed like i said earlier and more little dots and basically just adding to it until i felt like it looked good Once that was done, I went ahead and I think I cured it. I'm not sure. But um, that one's not going to have glitter. The pinky is not going to have glitter on it. So for the middle finger, I went ahead and started drawing the gingerbread's little eyes, buttons, and mouth and nose. Um, and I believe I decided that I wanted his eyes, mouth, and nose, and buttons to be glittery. So I did end up putting some glitter before I put it into cure. Um, the reason why you guys don't see it in the video is because I have to do it over my little trash can that I have on my desk just so that I don't get glitter everywhere because I'm so messy, so clumsy, you guys. There's been times where I try to do the glitter like for a video and then I'll spill it everywhere all over my desk. So I have to like literally just pour a little bit of glitter over my trash can and let the extra just fall into the garbage because it's like... I only use a tiny bit of glitter anyway if I do it that way it's just way easier so um, I'm doing the little icing marks on his legs and arms and it looks so cute just like if I decorated a real gingerbread cookie it's really really cute and um, yeah love 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 that so as right here um, I already went ahead and I'm adding more white dots because I wanted more white I wanted these white dots to end up being glittery too so I'm adding them before I go ahead and put the glitter on and then um, while that's just curing in the lamp I'm going to go ahead and do the other hand.
Now for my thumb, I knew for a fact that I wanted to do the gingerbread house on this nail specifically because I have way more room on this one. I could have done a really skinny little house on the pointer finger, which is what I originally tried to do. And then I realized that it just wasn't enough space for me to add windows and the door. And I really wanted to add windows and a door. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to do it on the thumb. It's going to look cute regardless. So I'm going ahead and doing the same gingerbread cookie color. And I'm going to be creating a general house shape. So just a triangle with a square on the bottom and filling it all in because I am going to get to decor decorating as soon as this is cured so um yeah it doesn't need to be so perfect honestly i was trying to perfect it but then i realized after it didn't even matter because i'm gonna cover like almost all the, all of it with decorations so um yeah while i was painting this i was trying to think what do i or if i was a gingerbread cookie living in a fantasy land like where nothing mattered except your little decorations and your little house what would I want my house to look like so that was like my thought process when I tried making this uh little gingerbread house I really wanted it to look girly cute and just extra honestly just basically like exactly what I would want in my own gingerbread house if I was a little gingerbread cookie living in it <laughs> so um yeah once this was um all done i went ahead and did the other one and then that's when i'm gonna start decorating So first things first, I wanted pink. So I knew I wanted pink all over my house. So I added this little heart right here in the center. I honestly can't remember if that even gets covered up anyway. And then I wanted a pink door. So I went ahead and added a pink little door, just a really elongated upside down U. And um, it's just going to be all filled in, all pink. And I knew for sure that I just wanted a lot of pink. And, I, and then I actually realized after I was doing this door, I was like, okay, I have to tie it in um a little bit of blue so you'll see me add blue in a second but i just wanted to add a little heart window as well a heart window is everything and i feel like it just made it look so cute and um i just knew for sure i wanted to add hearts somehow on here as well and hearts literally get me like making this little heart made me get excited for valentine's day because i'm remembering that valentine's day is coming up and those are my second favorite nails to do other than christmas ones I love Valentine's Day nails. So um, now I'm grabbing some of the baby blue from the pointer finger and I'm just outlining my door with that. And then after this, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more. Um, I think I go back in and just add a little bit more details before I go in with like the glitter and stuff because I knew for a fact I wanted my house to be glittery, really glittery because that's how like the gingerbread houses look look. The ones that I bought from like Hobby Lobby, except they're not girly. They're just like regular Christmas theme. But if they were girly and pink, that'd be like the cutest ever. So you can see here, I'm just grabbing the blue and creating little dots on the top of the house and then doing the same thing to the other house as well. So right after that was cured, I'm going ahead and adding the white detailing that I know for a fact is not going to be glittery. So any white details that are not going to have glitter on it is what I'm adding now. Um, these are the white glitters that are going to be in the background still. So there are in the middle ground. So like I created the background, which was like the, the first round of like 
everything so like the brown house and then the pink detailing and the blue and then now for the middle ground i'm adding all white details that i know for a fact that i am not gonna want glittery and then once those are all cured then i'm gonna add more white details but or different details but those are gonna be the ones that i do want glittery i hope that makes sense but now i'm adding little how little windows on the sides that are just regular i added the little details to the door and um yeah, this is like what I meant by that. So So now I want that really thick icing type of texture so I'm going back in with my Madame Glam gel paint and I'm going ahead and I'm creating the little swirlies that are going to be at the top of the house. This is where everything is going to be glittery. So um, I did already do the, uh, the whole background of the white that I mentioned were like the little details that are not going to be glittery. Then I went in with my matte top coat, top coated everything and sealed it in and then now I'm going in with all details that i'm going to be pouring glitter on top of so i'm going ahead and adding uh just like redoing the little snow and then redoing little snow on the gingerbread house and kind of connecting it to what i want it to look like and then um adding snow on top of the little chimney on top of the door frame and adding a little bit more dots in the center because i want those to be glittery as well and then i'm going in and adding the glitter and you guys it's gonna make it look so pretty like i love the way the glitter looks with this set it makes it look so 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 nice i love the girly vibes and just like the glam vibes and i'm doing the same thing to the other nail as well So once that is all cured, I'm going in with the ring finger now. This is going to be uh, the color floating from Nail Reserve. It is a beautiful baby pale pink. Um, this is the, re the reason why I'm just doing the ring finger and pointer finger solid is because I knew for a fact I was going to make these very blinged out and glam. She did tell me that she loved rhinestones, so that's why I'm doing this. Uh, once I cured it that... I went ahead and added this top coat glitter from Enel Couture and then I went ahead and mattified those nails at the end once everything was cured. So now I'm going in with my Zule's Bling Adhesive. This is the best glue that you can ever use for your rhinestones. Your rhinestones will never fall off with this. Every time I try to use something different, I honestly have problems. So just like... I have to stop just not using this but I don't know if I explained to you guys before that the reason why sometimes I try not to use this is because um I have my animals with me in the room 24 7 I'm not kidding like my animals are very attached to me and my, by animals plural I just mean my dog and my cat um they're always sleeping together like next to me cuddled up and I don't I can't use my hurry up nail glue dryer it's just way too strong and I know it's gonna hurt their little noses so I just do not want to spray that in my nail area and I don't want to kick them out either because like I don't know so I try not to let this air dry on its own I love spraying it with the nail hurry up nail glue dryer because then it doesn't leave the white cast I hate the white cast that it leaves if you let it just dry on its own so yeah if you guys use this glue you know what I'm talking about um but I absolutely love it like it is so good as far as like the longevity of how long your stones stay on and just making sure that they're quality like that they're made 
that they're applied with quality and care and like don't fall off you know and i always go in around and seal the rhinestones also at the end so that they don't snag in your hair so that's like one thing why, why that's like one reason why a lot of people are scared to order nails with rhinestones is because uh they think like it's gonna snag in their hair and stuff but i always try to seal all the edges so that that never happens because i hate when that happens too and also when it snags on your hair it can cause your rhinestone to fall off because like your hair will pull it up um so yeah i always try to seal around them once my zule glue is completely 100 percent dry i will go in and wipe them off with a little lymphy wipe a little tiny bit of acetone and it'll get off any extra glue that's on the stones and make them super sh shiny and sparkly and then also um like i said that's once it's already all the way dry so then i will go in with my liquid gummy jelly from enel couture it is just like a liquid gummy gel with like a little tip that you go around the stones and it'll be like a sealant so like it'll seal them all the way in and you guys often don't see me doing that because i usually do it at the very end of the video and i always forget to record that part but it's like once the nails are already dry and right before i go in to file them that's when i will do this step so um yeah anyway now i added rhinestones i know i kept rambling and i added these cute little white bows um i got them on amazon i will put them in the description box and now i'm adding stones all over to the whole set so something i've been doing recently to apply my glue more perfect is i've been putting a little bit of glue off to the side and then just grabbing a dotting tool specifically for my zule glue that i have like designated for this and i'm just going in and dotting the glue that i want and then applying it where i want it to go a lot of you guys probably already do this but i don't know why it wasn't i wasn't doing this before um it just makes me apply the glue precisely exactly to where i want it to go and then with these tiny little stone placements it makes it so much easier so yeah i've been doing this a lot recently and i will have these uh rhinestones linked in the description box as well and yeah i just love the way the glitter and the glam looks i love a glam nail set you guys know me if i do, if it doesn't have rhinestones i honestly never wear my nails without rhinestones like they have to have them because when you're like in low light or like in a restaurant or something like your nails will sparkle so beautiful and i just love that feeling like i love staring at them so yeah literally my favorite thing ever is when nails are sparkly and or like really glossy too when they're really glossy they also kind of like sparkle in their own way um but i'm pretty much done with this nail set here you could see me that you could see that i keep doing that with the little napkin or the little lint free wipe it's because um i added so much glue that it keeps running all over the place so i have to keep like wiping it up and making sure that i get off all the extra or else it'll leave the white cast all over the entire nail and i do not want that so i keep wiping up the ex ex excess i'm pretty sure that's how you say it, excess glue um that is around all the stones just to make sure that i don't make a mess and the glue doesn't drip all over the place and then now i'm adding some extra stones underneath the bow this will also add kind of like a reinforcement so that they don't like hair your hair doesn't get snagged underneath the bows but of course i seal it in anyway so i'm gonna seal all this in because i don't like the way the bows like stand up off the nail they look so freaking cute obviously but like when i think about my customers actually using the nails i want to make sure they're sealed all the way around so that they don't have any issues with snagging on anything and then i'm adding some last minute stones that i decided to add to the pinky and now i'm going to do the same thing to the other hand
So now I'm just doing the finishing touches on the nail set. Like I said, just adding some last minute little rhinestones just like I did to the other hand. And once they were all finished and filed, this is the finished result. And I know you guys have been hearing me say that a lot of my sets have been my favorites recently, but they honestly have been. This is like one of my favorites. I think it's because I've been doing so many freestyles and I love freestyling, but I really hope you guys enjoyed something new enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye!